Now we're going to move on to the scattering states. So that in the scattering states, we are considering states where the energy is greater than zero. The energy of the particle is greater than zero. So similarly, we have to solve in the three regions where a, where v of x is equal to zero in the region, x is less than minus a. We have these solutions, and in the case where in between minus a and a we have the potential is as a depth v naught and they have the general solution of this form and for x greater than a okay for x greater than a there is physically there is no incoming wave in this region there is only a outgoing wave because a particle is coming it it can get trapped in the potential well or it can get transmitted so to the other region so okay there is uh, so on the one side we have just like so if you see in the diagram so if the if you consider the particle coming from this region it can come get trapped in this potential or get transmitted through if uh, through this well so here on the other side there is no incoming amplitude there is only outgoing amplitude so that is why we write a solution of only one term in this region now we have to solve for the constants so we solve the constant using the boundary conditions so the boundary condition says that psi of x is continuous at the boundaries and the derivative of psi is also continuous at the boundaries thereby we get these four equations now we can eliminate c and d and solve for the remaining two using the these equations so we we get b and f okay and we get f in terms of a now what is physically what is f divided by a f divided by a a is the incoming amplitude f is the transmitted amplitude so this f by a will be the transmission coefficient so <coughs> what we find out is from in this equation we can find out the modulus of f square by a square modulus okay and we found we find out the <coughs> inverse of the transmission coefficient to be this value now if if the transmission coefficient was one that means that all the incoming particles are being transmitted that happens when this condition is satisfied okay that happens when this condition is satisfied and the resulting energies that are admissible are the solutions of a infinite square well okay they are the solutions of a infinite square well which is given here 